Welcome back to our OpenStack Fundamentals course and in front of you now you will be able to see the some of the architecture of OpenStack. Now keep in mind the components in front of you are not all the components that you will find in OpenStack but if you were to install a basic version of OpenStack these are the core components that you will probably get. Consequently they're the most important ones and first up we're going to learn about all of these. Now the first one to take note of is Horizon which is the dashboard. Now Horizon is a Django based framework which is a high level Python web framework and it's aimed at providing a complete OpenStack dashboard along with an extensible framework for building new dashboards from reusable components. Now in a few more slides, a little few more minutes, we're going to check out the OpenStack Horizon dashboard give you a bit more of a hands-on experience of, of what you can expect. The next important component is Keystone. Now Keystone is the OpenStack identity provider and it provides a central directory of users mapped to the OpenStack service that they can access. So it acts as a common authentication system across the cloud operating system and can integrate with existing back-end directory services uh, for instance LDAP. It supports multiple forms of authentication including standard username and password credentials, token based systems also and AWS style, AWS being Amazon Web Services, AWS style logins. So additionally the catalog provides a queryable list of all the services deployed in an OpenStack cloud in a single registry. Users and third-party tools can programmatically determine which resources they can access. So in a nutshell this Keystone is your identity service pro to provide access not only for yourself but also access for all the other key components to be able to talk to each other. Again we'll go in a little bit deeper into that in some consequent slides. The next thing to take note of is OpenStack Compute which is called Nova. Now that's a cloud computing fabric controller which is the main part of an IAS system which is an infrastructure as a service system. Now it's designed to manage and automate pools of computer resources and can work with widely available virtualization technologies as well as bare metal and high performance computing configurations. Also KVM, VMware and Xen are available choices for the hypervisor technology. Together with Hyper-V and Linux container technology such as LXC. Next up we're going to talk about OpenStack Image which is Glance and it provides discovery, registration and delivery services for disk and server images. Stored images can be used as a template it can also be used to store and catalog an unlimited number of backups. The image service can store disk and server images in a variety of backends including Swift. So Swift which we'll talk about next is the object store so what they're saying there is that you could have a Windows image or a Linux image whatever sort of virtual image you want and you could store it on Swift and then just launch it from your Horizon dashboard launch your Nova compute image and it would get the image from Swift. The image service API provides a standard REST interface for querying information about disk images and lets clients stream the images to new servers. Okay, let's move on and talk about Swift, which we briefly touched upon when we talked about Glance. Now, Swift is a scalable, redundant storage system. Objects and files are written to multiple disk drives spread throughout servers in the data center, with the OpenStack software responsible for ensuring data replication and integrity across the cluster. So you can pretty much store anything you want on Swift.
Moving on to Neutron, which is for OpenStack networking, and it's a system for managing networks and IP addresses. OpenStack networking ensures the network is not a bottleneck or limiting factor in a cloud deployment and gives users service ability even over network configurations. Now Cinder is also storage but this is block storage and it provides persistent block level storage devices for use with OpenStack compute instances. The block storage system manages the creation attaching and detaching of the block devices to servers. Block storage volumes are fully integrated into OpenStack Compute and the dashboard allowing for cloud users to manage their own storage needs. Heat is a service to orchestrate multiple composite cloud applications using templates through both an OpenStack native REST API and a CloudFormation compatible query API. Basically that means you can write templates, scripts and you can write them in OpenStack native language which we will show you later or you can also write them in CloudFormation compatible templates which are similar to ones that are used on AWS, Amazon Web Services. And the final component that you can see up there is OpenStack telemetry, Silometer. And it provides a single point of contact for billing systems, providing all the counters they need to establish custom billing across all current and future OpenStack components. So that's a very important part of building an OpenStack environment if you want to build people and have, let's say, infrastructure as a service or whatever system you're building. You need to keep track of uh, the bills and who uses what. Okay, this is just a little bit of, of a different uh, view of what we just talked about. It's pretty much the same, um, just in a different, it's in a table. And that's exactly what we talked about before. We have the different services, the dashboard, and the project name's Horizon. Compute, which is Nova. Networking, which is Neutron. Object Storage, Swift. Block Storage, Cinder, so on and so forth. I won't go through all that. Uh, there's a couple things there that um, weren't listed in that previous diagram such as Trove and Sahara and we will touch upon those also.